going to solve a couple of examples on uh, PCM. Example number one says that in telephony, usually the voice uh, signal is limited to 3.4 kHz. However, the sampling rate is uh, 8,000 samples per second, which means that we usually sample higher than microstrate. So 8,000 samples per second, this is FS. Let's write the information that we get as we go. So FS is 8,000 samples per second. And then the number of quantization levels is 256. What is the number of quantization levels? It's L. L is 256 levels. And we can, from L, we can find what? Always try to go get the information from here and get anything that you can find directly before you continue reading the problem. So from L, if L is 256, we can obtain that N is 8 bits per cent, right? 8 bits per cent. So now we obtain the uh, FS, we obtain from the number of levels we obtained N, find the bit rate and the minimum transmission band. The bit rate and the minimum transmission band. So the bit rate, we said that the bit rate is the number of bits per second. Let's say R. Number of bits per second means that 8,000 is the number of samples per second and each sample is represented by 8 bits. So if you multiply 8 bits per sample times 8,000 samples per second, it will give you it will give you 64,000 bits per second. This is the bit rate. Finally, after we obtain the bit rate, it says find the minimum transmission bandwidth given that you have a binary transmission. Of course, we agreed that this is the bit rate, which means that the pulse rate, let me now remove the problem. We don't need the problem now anymore. Once we obtain the bit rate, we can say that the pulse rate, since we are using binary transmission, we are using binary transmission, the pulse rate will be equal to the bit rate. So the pulse rate will be 64,000 pulses per second. And the pulse rate is the same as the piece of information rate, because every pulse is a piece of information, right? So the bandwidth, the minimum bandwidth, can be obtained by the pulse rate divided over 2 and this will give you 32,000 Hertz so this is the minimum bandwidth required to transmit uh, uh, these voice signals over telephony lines the second problem, the second example it says that we have a compact disc, CD is used to record the speech. So here we are recording a speech on a CD. It's not a transmission, it's recording. The audio bandwidth is 15 kHz. Usually when we record on CD, we use high quality uh, uh, voices, high quality music. So we increase the bandwidth of the voice to 15 kHz. However, Nyquist like right here, if the voice has a bandwidth of 15, Nyquist like is 30. However, usually the sampling rate on CDs, it's 44.1 kHz. They go up to 44.1 kHz. They increase the sampling rate up to 44 to improve the quality, to reduce the aliasing between the images, the different images. So the sampling rate, so this is the first piece or useful piece of information. This is the first useful information that we get. This is the sampling rate. Number of quantization levels is 65,536. What is this? This is L. And from N, we can find N. From N, we can find N, the number of bits per second. N here, if you take a log to the base 2 of this number, you will get N equals 16 bits per second. So now we have everything that we need. We have FS, we have N, we have L. It says find the bit rate. The bit rate will be, now we can say that the bit rate Again, we are going to multiply how many bits per sample times how many samples per second. So we are going to multiply 16 times 44.1. This will give us the bit rate, which will be 705.6 kilo bits per second. So now we calculated the bit rate. And then an interesting part 
in the second part of the question, very interesting, it says that if the size of the compact disc is 10 to the power 6 kilobits, find the length of speech that you can record on this CD. So now we know that when you record a speech, every second you are recording 705.6 kilobits per second. For every second of speech, you record this number of bits, 705.6 kilobits per second. How many seconds you can record? This is the question. What is the length of the speech that you can record? So basically, huh, you will say that the length, of course the length in seconds, huh, it will be 10 to the power 6, 10 to the power 6 kilobits, divided by 705.6 kilobits per second. And from the units again, you can see that the units will be very helpful here. When you divide kilobits over kilobits per second, this will give you seconds, right? So you divide 10 to the power 6 over this number, it will give you how many seconds you can record, and then you can convert the seconds into minutes. I will leave this to you, you can find the answer, and that's it for this video, see you in the next video.